Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. Let's learn Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the popular Christmas classic which has been there for I don't know how long. So, I I've, I've kind of arranged it in a blues version and we'll do it in two styles. We'll do it in an easy way with just pretty much a very blues rhythm pattern and then we'll try and expand on it further and depending on your skill level i'm sure you can figure out a version which will really work for you over the holiday season so let's first look at the left hand in isolation and then look at it with respect to the right hand melody which i'm sure you're quite familiar with we'll take the scale f major i just think it's really cool for most songs it has one flat b flat So the pattern in your left hand you'd want to play would be a blues pattern a very blues left hand rhythm which is 1 5 1 6 1 so if the chord is written as let's say f major now it's important to know what the the main chords of the scale are so in the f major scale the one chord is your f major the four chord is your b flat major and the five chord is your C major. So you go one at the one chord and at every chord the blues pattern in the left hand will be 1516. Right? So that's a very catchy left hand blues phrasing and also very identifiable for the genre which is blues. So you go 2 3 4 1 two, and you count. So one bar will be 1 5 FC FD F C F D again. So one five one six one five one six one five one six. So I do a little variation later, which is I just add that third in the middle. We'll not do that at the moment. We'll we we'll learn that later. So ba dum pum 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 pum. So one bar. So you can actually start by singing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer uh, with this pattern. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer ba da 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 and now the chord changes so where does it change to the 5 which is c so you do the same pattern c g c a 1 5 1 6 so da na 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 okay and then you stay that ta na ta dum pam 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 ba di 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 and then come back okay the chords are actually printed out for you in the melody version so do check out the chords so anytime you see an f major you play for that whole bar as quarter notes and nice and staccato very bouncy you don't want to go right nice and bouncy and then c now sometimes you may want to play c lower because the melody is invading in and around that middle c region so you could even play lower you could even go to the 4 if ever the 4 comes which is b flat major so 12 bar blues is what we would normally use this with but rudolph is not really a 12 bar song but it's still very bluesy very rock and rollish and the entire version we learn will be in a swing style i'm sure the original is also in swing but then some people play it straight for some reason i think it's meant to be a swing song so it goes ta ta da ta da ta da ta da that's how you phrase your eighth notes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and rudo the red no os re india uh, da, 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 not rudolph the red no os re india uh, 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 it's not straight okay so you may want to get used to playing swing especially this pattern is very swing blues oriented okay so let's move let's do the melody in the right hand along with this left hand pattern the melody is quite simple i'm taking it on the key of f major and then as the lesson progresses forward we will add a lot more uh interesting phrases in the left hand and some right hand bring in some harmony i'm also going to teach you a very very cool 
augmented lick which you're going to find somewhere in this song we are also going to look at some harmony without really chords but with some chromatic thirds things like that which is very bluesy very country and so on and so forth the main goal of developing this version is to not only help you play an awesome song for the holidays but also grow as a pianist and hope use this technique to hopefully play other songs before we get started it will be great if you could hit that bell icon for regular notifications subscribe to our channel if you haven't already hit the like button leave us a comment for stuff you'd like to learn in the future and most importantly all of our lessons are supported or augmented with a lot of my notes and notation backing tracks midi tracks and so on and so forth in fact this very lesson will come with three pdf files you'll get an easy version for beginners you'll get the version which i have been jamming along with with, with you which you heard in the beginning of course and you'll also just have the melody with chords so if you'd like to just play around the chords you have three versions waiting for you the midis of all these are also available and uh, all the notes as well not only for this lesson for pretty much all the lessons it's pretty much five dollars a month and you're going to get all this stuff and it'll keep reaching you as we keep doing new lessons on our youtube channel let's get started so let's quickly do the right hand melody first first line okay starting with my index finger c d c a f d c some notes can be a bit choppy not root of the red nose reindeer rather boring you you could do it root of the red nose reindeer i i leave it to you which notes you'd like to chop or ch play choppy but you get the idea i hope and a good way to phrase the melody is to actually snap here with your left hand before it starts doing stuff of course on the 2 and the 4 of the bar that's a great way to feel the blues or swing music in general 3 4 Let's try that line with me. Three slowly. Two again. Start. Let's move forward. Same position. So. And then. Now here you may want to bring back. the index finger which was used for c to b flat okay so the whole two lines start with c on the index and then for the third line and fourth line do b flat on the index that could be a good road map so snap you don't want to put your thumb there so put the index there and then and then it pretty much repeats same story and then now it changes so then na 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 so you bring your thumb up there i'm adding a nice uh, second reap harmony there so you can learn that chromatic from a b flat b c it's a nice passing set of notes because it goes a and imme immediately lands on the f major chord join in any range of games and then it easily takes us to the next part which is that then one foggy christmas eve right so it goes let's move forward or let's just do this with the chords in the left hand what did i tell you about the chords just blues so you start with f with the melody again let's do that again slowly rudolph the red nose ring
stay on C. And now, I'm doing that walking bass, which is quite jazzy. So you go. Right? So a lot of passing notes. I, I want to go, I want to approach C to F. So. Na, 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 na. It kind of takes you really nicely to F. And when I come back to F, you play the blues. So this na, 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 is just to break that monotony. Let's do that again, the whole first four lines. Still F, C, stay on C, with the blues pattern, and now climb. Climbing up again, then you repeat pretty much the whole thing. Don't forget to swing. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Now climb again. The same climbing, but now climb more. So pumps. I'm only showing you the bass there. Then one. Then it goes to the B flat. So it's like a nice chromatic climb of quite a few notes. It's it's about eight notes. We'll come to that later. So, and remember what I showed you with the right hand. The right hand and the left hand will harmonize together, while the pinky can actually hold the soprano, which is the lyric sung by the the main voice. So. One more time. And then. Okay, the next part is I've kept it a bit simple. I've taken away the blues element. We'll bring back the blues because the chords are already quite sophisticated. So let's just do the melody there in the verse or the B section of the song. One more time. Okay, and the bass for that. So that's like a B flat major. B bass, actually it'll create a very diminished seventh flavor there, which is a nice dominant passing chord. Uh, more on all that later, or you can check out some of the theory lessons where we've talked about this theory. Okay, very nice pass there. B flat, B diminished. That's like an F over C bass. It's actually implying a D seventh. So then one foggy Christmas Eve and then come down to G. So that's G C E P pum pum and now I'm doing a little lick there. G which is the 251 very common jazz cadence the e, C F pum 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 because the melody there is rather simple just stays there so pum you can do a nice bass thing there okay the whole two lines of the b section down g c f pa pum pum moving forward okay what are we doing there it's like a little g dominant voicing g with an f but staccato Melody. So G seventh, C seventh. Come back. Okay. Don't you ride my sleigh tonight? And then you end with a low C. 
So, lower C. And then it repeat. Let's just do the B section once more. C, D, G, C. Bass lick. Pum, pum, pum. Dominant G. Dominant C. Back to G. A, B. Climbing. Slay tonight. Slay tonight. So, don't, don't you ride my sleigh tonight. That's the whole B section. Okay, shall I do it once more now without talking? So, you can just figure it out. Okay. blues same melody and then ending the same bass climb could probably slow it down at the end and end with a nice chord with F for the top so Right guys, so that I'm sure a lot of you have started off on the piano. I'm sure you can get somewhere with it uh, or pro possibly the exact same way in which I have presented it in this lesson so far. Uh, get yourselves a copy of the notation. The MIDI file may also help. You can import it into an app like Synthesia or anything which is free. It allows you to put it in and you can see the notes in whichever format you desire, whether it's notation or those block-like things which comes down in all sorts of colors. So all these things are available. Uh, now, if you're a bit intermediate student or a bit more advanced, hang on. Or if you're a beginner, again, please hang on. It'll be great. You may be inspired by some of this stuff. So let's now move forward with a more exciting way of playing almost the same thing, but just a few variations here and there. Okay, moving on. So in the A section, I'm not doing too much of change. I'm just adding this little thing whenever I can. So same thing now since my right hand is chilling out there I can add a little bit of some interest in the left hand so instead of doing I could do so that's G, one five one six three the three as a passing eighth note to so get used to that slightly tricky initially And then I'm doing the same story. But then when I come back down, instead of doing, I'm actually playing C major in a more, I would say a little bit more of a salsa way. But in a swinging way. So how am I voicing the C chord? It's rather interesting. It's a C7. So I do C with my bass. Then I'm doing a B flat and E. So I'm ignoring the G. And I'm playing it in a spread way. I'm playing the E higher. If you if your hand, if you feel is stretching out too much or if you have small hands, you can probably ignore this way of playing for now and go back to the default way. But if you can, it goes. This is the rhythm. Keep your wrist nice and uh, smooth or relaxed and circle it if you can. You could also jump your wrist since these are staccato. Okay, let's do it till there. And then the embellishment on C, that one. And now the spread groove. I've, I've reserved that groove for the ta -na -ta -da -ti -ri -ri. the same climbing bass and now you do the additional uh, third there for the blues grooving then 
that's the whole thing so let's do that whole thing again and this holds good for the next line as well embellish the salsa thing now the first time it ends with and the second time the same thing which i taught you earlier ba 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 in the bass and tu ru 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 in the treble moving forward to a few more advanced things which i'm doing at the next section uh, first of all i'm harmonizing my right hand such that the top note of the chord becomes the melody so i don't compromise that but i'm adding some chords so okay so even without the bass it sounds quite rich doesn't it because that's then one is b flat That's your diminished seventh, foggy, and now come to F major, Christmas Eve. That's a implying a D seventh. So with the bass, the same bass I told you earlier, B flat, B, C, D, the lower D. You don't. It sounds a bit. Doesn't sound full if you play it up there. So B flat, B. C D D quite low to sing but you get the idea Santa came So there I'm doing something quite interesting I'm going First I'm doing the harmony F E E staying on the E but you could also go play this a little earlier It gets a nice bluesy or a jazzy vibe. Let's do that again. The same bass lick we learned. One more time. If you do If you do this as quarter notes you won't have time to play that to di 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 you won't have time to play the lick so you just have to anticipate the tune Santa came to play Santa do 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 Okay so it's just that internal voice you could add that embellishment one more time the whole thing Okay now pretty much the same thing Okay now I'm adding some off beats there so and just to get that swing vibe to off with your nose so bright dun dun da bam ba ba and then that's the same thing g a and now instead of doing do a little lick there i'm trying to stress on the the c augmented chord which is used well at least by the beatles from what i know in oh darling it just really adds that interest doesn't it so whenever you're going from a dominant to a tonic in this case c to f you can always sneak in that chord okay let's just do that again And now lick okay you could even end on the augmented fifth which is g sharp so moving forward to the next part well it's pretty much the same and now you could add some thirds harmony thirds meaning with the bottom thirds kind of makes sense for the lyrics there because it's then all the other reindeer so it's like plural so more people are talking i guess and then and then 
the salsa thing and then now i'm ending it with uh, again something bluesy so ba 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 so you first do the chromatic jump join in any rain and there but then to add some spice at the end let's do that again a b flat b c or the bass is going f g g sharp a takes a little bit of time to practice and when you end f c f very low f that's like the lowest f on the piano let's just do the whole last chorus section climbing could even slow it down right so those are some em- embellishments and regarding the melody you can do anything you really want if you'd like to spice it up you can do i do that a lot i i trill in it's like a guitar is doing a hammer on you know instead of going to d directly you can even do turn like that ta da 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 do you can even kind of staccato anything you want it adds more to that swing the squeeze in that that may be overdoing it but you get the idea Hope you folks enjoyed the lesson. This is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in quite a few versions, quite a few embellishments, melodically, harmonically, rhythmically, and uh, hopefully you have fun playing this over the Christmas season. If you're watching this before Christmas or just around Christmas time, work hard on it and uh, send me a recording as well. It'll be great to hear it. We are on Instagram. You can find me at Jason Zach. So you could just do a version and send it across and or tag me or something like that and don't forget to get yourselves a copy of all the notation of not only this christmas song uh, we are doing a series of christmas songs there will be at least 6 to 8 songs in neat folders with midi files pdfs different versions so on and so forth lot of things to learn all the best and i will catch you in the next one